All right, we live. Yo, good chat. What's good, chat? Let me get this shit on my Instagram. All right, let me pull this up on the story. What's good, chat? Hey guys, how we doing? Hey fellas, thanks for the nice comments on the new video. Just read them now. See you at the premiere. All right, where the fuck is everybody, bro? Yo, what's up, Chris? What's up, Brett? What's good with y'all boys, man? All right, let me put this on my story. Fuck, dude. All right, camera create. Yo, see you at the, you at the premiere. All right, my favorite black streamers. But okay, dude, what's up, man? Yo, bedtime. I love your vids. Thanks, man. Yo, okay, Connor, the goat. Appreciate that, bro. Bedtime FC live. Pull up. Pull up, bro. One viewer in 10 seconds, you fell off, little bro. I know, dude, it's over. It's over. It's so over, dude. It's not even funny. What's down? When's Bryce Mitchell fighting next? I actually do have a fight for Bryce Mitchell in Bedtime FC. We do have a fight for him. But uh, guys, obviously, those of you that don't know, I'm going to be away for two weeks. So uh, this is my last Bedtime, F stream, bedtime FC stream um, for two weeks, bro. So enjoy this card while you can, boys, because then you're stuck with fucking... You know, Allen versus Curtis, bro. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro? Enjoy this shit while you can, bro. What would it take for you to say hi? I could say hi. That's okay, mate. What's up, man? Love the content. Sending love from uh, Czech Republic. Yeah, appreciate that, dude. Thank you, bro. I, am, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Why isn't Bedtime versus Blood Diamond headlining Apex? I'm sorry, bro. You, listen, he, the guy is short notice. It was supposed to be, um, obviously, real ones to remember. It was supposed to be me versus Kevin Lee. Um, but yo, Jimmy, bro, thanks for the two dollars, man. What's your most white trash hobby slash interest? I'm not really white trash, to be honest. I'm kind of uh, the opposite, to be to be real with you, bro. Um, I don't know. I like listening to a uh, uh, bad motherfucker by MGK and Kid Rock sometimes when I run. That's pretty. That's that's pretty white trash of me. I, that's probably the the closest I get. I wear jeans sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'll be I'll be pulling up like a a a. a Sean Strickland. Literally after my last fight, I changed into my Sean Strickland default outfit. So, Rigo said your impression of him is really good. Oh, thanks, bro. Appreciate that, man. Undercard. But yeah, dude, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Charles having another kid. It's over for Armin. Damn, boy. But yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, man. This is... Uh, I'm not showing my last fight today. Next stream that we do will be at 25k. We will watch my fight on stream, guys. Okay? So, yeah. Once we hit 25k, I'm going to watch my fight on stream, guys. But uh, yeah, dude, it was supposed to be me versus Kevin Lee. Blood Diamond stepped in on short notice. Who we got, boys? Who we got? And why is it bedtime? The undefeated GOAT in Bedtime FC. Congrats to your cousin for fighting Hamza. Okay, I'm not related to Robert Whitaker at all. Bedtime targeted hate campaign to pressure Lucas to step in the ring. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm on, bro. Impression of Suhudo breaking down Funky Town gore video. I don't know what the fuck the video is, dude. Listen, man. Uh, listen, man. I don't think this guy survived, man. I don't think he did, bro. Listen, man. Are you going to blow your face? That's why you need two weeks off to edit. No, dude. I'm just going to America, bro. Yo, Brian, bro. Thanks for the $2, man. Brian will take a react to an eagle mauling his family. Uh, listen. Uh, you know, it's all part of, it's all part of the storyline. You know, what I had to do, I had to get everybody cremated. Right? I had to find the eagle that did it. I had to climb up into the trees with him. And I had to become an eagle myself to understand it because, you know, you can only destroy your enemy if you understand them, right? So I had to understand him. And that included getting him to cheat on his girlfriend just so he could understand me. You know, that's what it is. Lucas would destroy you. He outgrappled Margamed. I'm better than Margamed, Uncle Iev, so let's get that out the way. Here we go. Bedtime versus Blood Diamond. Lucas Tracy, bro. Thanks for the 10 bucks, bro. This guy's strong, brother. Short but strong. This guy's strong guy, brother. Yeah, dude, I'm actually gonna go train uh, with... Uh, I didn't tell you guys this. I'm leaving to America to go train with, with Poirier. So, I will come back with a story of training with Poirier. Um, you know, I, I want to see if I can make him cry in the training room. That's what I'm aiming for. You know, I've already reached out to Mike Brown. And uh, he said it's cool that I come train. He, he said Dustin's really excited to train with me. But uh, yeah, appreciate you, Lucas. Thanks, bro. Holy shit, there's 20 people here. All right, shut the fuck up, dude. Don't be silly, jump the ghillie. Bad, bad, bad time's a fucking scumbag, dude. The guy's a fucking dirtbag, dude. Bad time needs two weeks off so he can edit out the part of the fight where he missed a... 
Yeah, dude, I'm editing out the part where I fall over in the fight, dude. Yo, I finally catch you live, love the content. Yeah, appreciate that, dude. Bad, bad times a fucking dirtbag, dude. Bad times a fucking scumbag. Blood Diamond's not cooking me right now, dude. I'm illegally streaming this. This is the prelims, bro. Come on, man. Listen, guys, bad times to go, man. But yeah, I'm gonna drop my video on Hamzat versus uh, Whitaker tomorrow. And I'm gonna pre-schedule probably about two videos. I will take my setup so I can do videos when I'm in America. Cause it's two weeks, bro. I can't, I can't schedule two weeks of content, bro. I'm just gonna be fucked, bro. Yo, Oscar, bro. Thanks for the membership, man. Appreciate you, bro. I am coming. I am coming. Thank you, bro. Bro got cracked by Blood Diamond. Hey, listen, man. Blood Diamond's a, 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 a he's he's next up in the UFC, man. He's got Izzy in his corner. Blood Diamond's got Izzy in his corner, bro. Um, cause me and Izzy obviously have our beef. So Blood Diamond, he's got Izzy in the corner. What are you doing for the weekend? I'm going to America, bro. I really think bedtime's human, guys. I really do, man. I really think he's. I really think he breathes air, guys. Seriously, man. Yo, Martin, the bro. Thank you for the five dollars, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thanks, man. Dude, it's so weird. Can I just say, chat? I'm sorry that I'm not paying too much attention to the fight, dude. Um, it is weird to have like a lot of people here and like people donating and shit. I feel like MMA guru right now, guys. I'm. I. I, I feel like guru right now, dude. Thanks for the five dollars, dude. Yeah, impression of Sean Strickland. Fucking, I'm not. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna fucking do that, dude. But yeah, blood diamond. Ooh, defends the takedown. Yeah, Benson was real as fucking regular show, bro. That's facts, low key. How are you preparing? For oh, Ben jumps down. Oh my god, I got knocked down by fucking blood diamond. It's over. It's over for me. It's over for me. My career's over. I just got fucking dropped by blood diamond, bro. It's over. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Aspinall said on his channel that he's in talks with the UFC for his next fight. Nah, it's gotta be it's gotta be Blades, bro. It's gotta be Blades, bro. I donate because you're the funniest motherfucker to post UFC vids. Yeah, appreciate you, dude. See, look at this. Look at this recovery from bedtime here. Law accurate bedtime, dude. Shut the fuck up, bro. I'm not gonna be Blood Diamond's first win. This guy crazy, brother. He's short, but he's crazy, brother. Hey Lucas, bro, whenever you want to run that trilogy, bro, get some wins, bro. Get some wins. We can run this trilogy, little bro. You know what I'm saying? Because look what I'm doing. I'm putting in work against Blood Diamond right now, bro. Shamaya's reaction to fighting with it. I don't give a fuck, bro. I smash this guy, brother. I, 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 don't, I like this guy, but I'm going to kill this guy, brother. I'm going to smash this fucking guy, brother. i hungry like wolf, brother. I'm going to eat this fucking guy, brother. I'm going to eat this guy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be champion, brother. I'm going to eat this guy. We need real-time MMA. Hey, maybe not today. Oh shit, I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to Moreno Max on you. Who you got, Hamzat or Bobby? I'm seeing a lot of people picking Whitaker. Who you guys got? Oh my god. Nah, that was a fluke knockdown. He didn't even hit me on the chin. Oscar, bro, thanks for the $2, dude. My knee is injured. I, am I the next Tom Aspinall? You might be Tom Aspinall, bro. You, you're either Aspinall or you're Weidman. Did you see him saying that skill for skill, he's the best fighter in the UFC? Dude. Hamza, not the front kick. I know, bro. That's bullshit. Hamza by side. I got Hamza, Loki. I got Hamza. I'm not gonna lie. I'm seeing a lot of people pick Whitaker. I got Hamza. And I've got I've got videographic proof that Whitaker is cooked in the grappling against uh, uh he's cooked against Hamza in the grappling. Did you guys see that shit of Weidman though? Nice boxing here from bedtime MMA. The YouTuber turned UFC prospect. Oh, big left hook from bedtime. Bobby's chinny. Nah, bro. I just think I, I actually believe that there is a real gap in this grappling that is going to be there for Hamza, dude, especially in round one. And he's going to take him down early. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm dropping a video on this tomorrow. And, um, you know, I want you guys to watch that shit. You know what I'm saying? I dare you to pick Weidman. I'm not picking Weidman. Nice takedown from bedtime right there. Shades of prime Weidman with that takedown, bro. I know Usman was upper weight class. Yeah, dude, I, I agree, bro. The, like people are trying to shit on him for that that Usman performance. I'm gonna talk about all this shit tomorrow, bro. I think people really hate on Hamza too much. Anthony Smith said Weidman's the most skilled fighter ever. He saw and they trained together. You, that's just on paper, exactly, bro. Why does your calf got the Lego man haircut? I don't, bro. I, I can't control my haircut. They, this is the closest they have to my hairstyle. Is that Ryan Hall? Nah, bro. It's bedtime, bro. The fuck are you talking about, you little Phil? Dalton. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Dude, Connor was so good in that movie, bro. 
Dude, Connor was fucking goaded in that movie, bro. Hey, fellas! Oh, no way Blood Diamond's actually grappling well right now. Bro, bro's been putting in that work right now. Blood Diamond's fighting not to go 3 and 4 right now. Who does Strickland fight? Probably Cannoneer. Probably Cannoneer if it's gonna be Izzy versus uh, DDP. P-head! Wideman just entering his prime. Trust, bro. Stop resisting, brother. Alright. When is the Roadhouse review dropping? I saw people dropping Roadhouse reviews. I'm like, bro. This is not, this is not fucking Angry Joe, brother. I'm not dropping a fucking movie review over here, yeah? The fuck is that? I'm not fighting Kelvin Gaslam next, bro. He's too big. Take your top off, take your top off. Yeah, it was weird in the movie when Connor went up to J uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's girlfriend and just started saying, take your top off. But it is what it is. Oh, nice head kick from Blood Diamond. This is a good fight, bro. Oh, right hand for bedtime. This is not a, a fucking Angry Joe video, you little feel. How do you fail to hold down Blood Diamond? Hey, he's been training hard for this, bro. He's been training hard for this, bro. Nice body shots from bedtime. Improved his striking. Remember last fight? I was just wrestling. Now look at me. Now look at me boxing. Where the fuck is everyone? Did you do your Max Holloway impression? I got you. I got you, dog. We gonna find out Saturday night, baby. Oh, it is what it is, brother. I'm not getting fraud checked by Blood Diamond. I just dropped him, bro. Come on, bro. 2-0 bedtime? What's the scorecards right now, chat? What's the scorecards, chat? What music do you listen to? A uh, little bit of rap. A little bit of, little bit of uh, r and B, I would say. He rocked him. He rocked him. Big donut, bro. Thanks for the $5, bro. Lucas wants to go flat feet and bounce it on. Bounce on it, but Hamza... Oh, fuck. This chat is moving too fast. Why is that not there? Hamza will ruin Whitaker and Carrot Top. Psalm boys night and maybe he'll stop glazing men and ducking you. Okay. Thank you, bro I think that was a compliment. I appreciate that. Thank you, bro. I'm gonna 20 and 2. Okay. The scorecard's not 20 and 2 2 0 Urseg. All right, not Urseg I'm not Urseg brother Do a Yuri impression I'm very excited for this fight. It's a good fight <laughs> This poor Felder guy, you've been spamming about smacking my ass for no shit 12 minutes, bro. For 12 minutes. 12 minutes you've been typing the same thing in my chat and I haven't read it. At what point do you just give up, bro? At what point do you realize, you know what, Bedtime might not read this, bro. Don't get knocked out, gang. Lock in. I got you, bro. I'm, I'm gonna take out Blood Diamond. I'm gonna take him out like the trash. Trust. Ooh, okay, bro. Paul Felder really fell off. I know, bro. Can we hear the Rigo impression? Alright, bro. Hell nah, bro. Oscar, bro. Thanks for the $2, man. You're secretly Israel. You're Aussie and sound like him? Yeah, bro. I'm not Israel Adesanya, dude. The faints of Blood Diamond eating, eating you up. The faints of Blood Diamond are eating you up. Yeah, dude. That's my Rigo impression. There you go. Nice calf kick from bedtime. Oh, right hand. <laughs> My doctor keeps saying I'm Steve Ursig. Let me know when the men stuff. All right, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. How do I study tape? Don't study tape. It's gay and, and doesn't work. I don't study tape, dude. Oh, uppercut from bedtime. Oh. Big meaty hooks from bedtime. And these two absolute jabronis are fighting right now. What's your opinion on cock? Dude, I want to smell you sober. All right, chat. Don't start this shit, dude. Because you're not going to get me for two weeks, bro. Oh! 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 Bro, there's literally no one for Gan to fight. Dude sabotaged himself. Yeah, he's going to be fighting fucking uh, March and Tybora at this point, bro. Bro, your channel goes so crazy. I know you'll be a huge if you just keep your mind on it. Major inspiration. Yeah, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Um, Fluke? Rest in peace, Blood Diamond, bro. Rest in peace, Blood Diamond, bro. Bro, I smashed Now, listen, bro. I'm not saying I'm happy for that knockout. Oh. But listen, bro. I did enjoy seeing that. All right. Ooh. Knocked him out. Calm down. It's Blood Diamond. All right, bro. Drew Diver. Drew Diver type KO BLM. Don't type BLM after that, dude. Drew Diver smiling. <laughs> bro. That was not racially motivated, bro. Yo, Raw Dog, bro. Thanks for the six ninety nine, man. Blood Diamond versus Flukus Glazy next. Hey, that's a fight we could do. That's a fight we could look at. Main event of title fight? Yes, sir. Jones is the heavyweight champion. Lewis has gone on a crazy fluke run. And uh, he's, he's earned his title shot.
All right, Paul Felder. Have a nice day, brother. I'm going to time you out for about 24 hours, bro. Count to 9,000, little bro. Have a good day, buddy. Calm down, little bro. I'm not doing a UFC spanking wish list tier list. That's just not happening. Dana White impression. What's the question? Be bedtime's getting a title shot. Who who's he asking about? He he wants to know if bedtime's getting. Uh, no, no. <laughs> that kid's not getting the fucking title shot. All right, we got uh, slow your fucking roll. Slow slow the fuck down. Um. All right, next fight we got Benil Dariush versus Bobby Green. Benil, come up. You're next. Sorry, there you go. There's your Michael Chandler impression. Chat recognize real G. Uh, the, guy, the guy's a scumbag, dude. Who we got, bro? Dariush, Bobby Green. Dariush has fallen off a little bit in Bedtime FC. Bobby Green's doing all right. Right, leave him alone. Leave him alone, okay? Don't, don't talk to him. Leave Cameron alone, okay? He had a bad fight, okay? Are you, are you the biggest Joshua Van fan on YouTube? I think Lucas Tracy's the biggest Joshua Van fan. Bobby Green. Why am I so many people picking Bobby Green? Yo, JPEG, bro. Thanks for the $2, man. K dot this Jake and J. Cole. I got K dot minus 1500 favor. Yeah, same, bro. Now, low key, unpopular opinion. I think future is low key tripping. I think future is low key tripping, bro. Future definitely salty as fuck. Bobby, Bobby. Why are you guys picking Bobby, bro? All right. Benny, the polls just don't work, bro. Yo, Oscar, bro, thanks for the $2 UFC fighters that would do tricks on tier list. That's not happening, bro. That's not happening, bro. And I'm not 1v1. I'm not 1v1ing your fucking friend, dude. Stop capping. No one likes Dariush. Dariush, green, green, green. I'm seeing a lot of green. Irish spring, green, green. Green. God damn, he's 37. Holy fuck. 30 and 15 as well. Does the green title run starts right, start right now? We need a Pantoja impression. I work so hard for this. I work so hard. There you go. And then uh, Moicano is like a different type of Brazilian. He's like, shout out my brother, MMA guru. Shout out the MMA guru. My brother. Let me tell you something. All right, here we go. Bobby Green, Benio Dariush. Bobby Green asked his thoughts on this fight. This fight's going to be the fucking shit, dude. This fight gonna be the shit, dude. Bobby Green taunting him already. The fight just fucking stuck. Oh, nice right hand from Bobby. Nice big left hand from Dariush. Tatsuro Tyre impression. Motherfucker just wants me to start speaking Japanese right now, bro. Arnold Allen impression? Um, yeah, you know, um, I could do a couple of these impressions. There's a lot of impressions right now. Um, you know, I could do some of them. 230? No fucking shot, bro. That's crazy. Dude, Arnold, oh, I already did Arnold Allen. Bro, said pre-BLM, dude. Chill the fuck out, bro. I never really liked Bobby. I kind of fuck with Bobby. I'm not going to lie. This fight's going to be the fucking shit. There's not two viewers, dude. Dude, imagine being a hater, dude. That would suck so bad, you guys. And Benio Darius looking for a submission. Two of Bobby Green's fathers right now. Uh, sorry, uh, Tony Ferguson's fathers right now fighting for custody. Nice reversal from Bobby. Nice reversal from Bobby. Did you go to the Errors Tour? I'm, dude, I'm not a Swifty, bro. Oh, that uppercut would have been bad, bro. Benny nearly ducked into that shit, Loki. Do Rosas. Honestly, it would do a better job of being John O'Malley than being Rob John, John Anik. Benio Dariush looking to bounce back tonight. White Clock brought to you by Toyo Tires. Dariush in white. Green will counter in red. Girlfriend Poirier impression. You, you know what you fucking did. You said the dress makes me look fat. You're a fucking dirtbag, dude. You're a fucking scumbag, dude. You, you, you're a fucking dirtbag, dude. You know, you, you know, it is what it is, dude. I'm not fucking mad at you. I'm just, you know, you're just a fucking dirtbag, dude. It is what it is. Oscar, bro, thanks for the two dollars, man. Joe Glaze reacted to a loose armbar. Oh, that's tight. That's it. What he's gonna want to do here? He's gonna want to lift the. Ah, oh, he lost it. He lost it. <laughs> that's every Rogan submission call, bro. Oh, that's it. That's tight. Oh, never mind. He lost it. That's literally fucking Joe Rogan every pay per view, bro. Nice punches from Bobby. Takedown from Dariush. Nice round. Times like this, dude, you gotta be fucking grateful, dude. 
That time needs to be talking about the uh, economical and political state of the world. Yeah, my, my bad. My bad, Lubra. My bad, Lubra. Get out of there, man. Get out of there, man. You gotta get out of there. <laughs> Do Conor McGregor per se Michael Chandler? <laughs> bro, that's, a, that's too deep, bro. That's some like Tropic Thunder level type shit. He's gonna break his arm. He's gonna break his arm. Yeah, that fucking Michael Johnson call. Joe Rogan's such a glazer, bro. Bedtime, you good lad. Yeah, bro. What's up, man? So many fucking people, bro. Holy shit. Where the fuck is the ref? He just spawned back in, bro. Classic Herb Dean. Bro just spawns the fuck out. Mid-fight. And you don't want to be here. You don't want to be here with this guy. Bobby Green! You're next! Michael Chandler watching this fight. Yeah, the Ryan Hall shit was ridiculous, dude. Oh, he's in trouble now. You don't want to be here with Ryan Hall. Ryan Hall, he's he's like playing. He's playing. Oh, he's knocked out now. He's out cold. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's dude. That fight was so funny, bro. Fuck, dude. I love you, my hey. You say something like this to me, and I say this. I love you. Say your song, boy. This is all because I told my friends about Bedtime's channel. Bro, you did not- You did not put me on, bro. Bro, dude in here put me on, bro. Hell no. Hell no. Yo, Rogerio, bro. Thanks for the $5, man. My friend said I'm tripping because I'm Brazilian. I'm still picking Ursa. Like, bro, what? I work so hard for this. Thanks, bro. You're a real one, bro. I can't do Eddie Alvarez's wife impression. I think I'll get evicted from my house, dude. I'm sorry. I made you famous, Steve. I walked to a bedtime kid run. Okay, dude. You guys, why are you guys trying to fucking big bro? Oh, oh my God, Darius is rocked. I found bedtime on my YouTube home screen. W, bro. Oh, shit. Impression of Strickland, mad Hamza got a number one contender fight. Here's the fucking thing, right, dude? I don't give a fuck about who gets the title shot, dude. I'm just saying. And then he goes on like a 20 minute fucking rant about it, dude. Oh, nice right hand from Bobby. He's kind of styling here. He's kind of styling here on Dariush. Yo, Thomas, bro, thanks for the uh, two dollars, man. Saw O'Malley and Schmitty working out today. Nice, dude. And Oscar, bro, thanks for the two dollars, man. Is MMA Che underrated? I don't know. I just think he kind of goes under the radar, bro. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna. Sh not really sure why, but I feel like people do. I never hear people talk when I like. I just CT'd the fuck out. Sorry. Um. All my friends in real life that watch MMA YouTube, they ask me about MMA Guru and they ask me about Lucas Tracy. And then they like said, oh, they, they see people, they see like bedtime jokes in those comment sections. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then my friends also talks about the weasel. So I feel like I, not a lot of people talk about MMA shit, even though he has a big channel, like he gets good views and shit. So I don't know why he's kind of underrated, but. He's just chill like that. Yeah, fair, bro. But yeah, he's kind of, he gets good views and shit. Like, I don't know why he's like under the radar. <laughs> Do you know who Marty Lewis is? Oh, I remember watching Marty Lewis back in the day, man, with my dad. Me and my dad used to watch fucking Marty Lewis together, man. He's, he's one of the OGs, bro. Less drama. Yeah, true. I found bedtime in the orphanage. Okay. Was not in an orphanage, dude. Weasel's the best. Weasel's the OG, dude. Weasel's the OG, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lucas Glazy's growing on me. He does that, bro. He does that. But now nah, Lucas is a good dude, man. Lucas is a good dude. You know, he, you know, he's he's a nice dude, man. You know, we're gonna buy him a house with the fucking, you know, with the with the good five foundation. He's a good dude, man. You know, Lucas is like Max Holloway. I'm like Dustin Poirier. You know, I won't be a salty man to him. You know, I, I I'm nice to the guy. Why can't I find Marty Lewis fights or highlights? It's just ah, social media was different back then, dude. Bobby Green is getting is piecing up Darius right now. This is fucking crazy, bro. Oh, nice right hand. Keon's dead. Keon just retired, bro. He's he's on he's on his, you know. He's just chill like that, bro. Yeah, Lucas is like the skip Bayless, bro. And I'm like Shannon Sharp. Do Oi, boys. You guys need to make this happen, dude. We need me and Lucas Tracy as like an undisputed type TV show. Me and Lucas Tracy as like a podcast every week. Like good guy, bad guy, like Chael and DC. Me and Lucas Tracy on a podcast every week would go fucking crazy, bro. I feel like we would absolutely go fucking crazy right now. Like, dude, that would be a sick fucking show, dude. I'm not going to lie, bro.
Lucas is literally a young Skip Bayless. Yeah, dude. Dead ass, bro. And I'm like, I'm like uh, Shannon Sharp. Oh, nice right hand for Bobby. Bobby Green's putting on a fucking masterclass right now. Bro, you do it. You're the YouTuber. No, but you guys got to hit up Lucas about it, dude. That's what I'm saying. You guys got to hit up Lucas about it. Miss when bedtime at 10 viewers. I know, bro. It's crazy. Just be you calling out Luke. That's what I'm saying. I feel like people like me because I, I say the things to Lucas that you guys want to say to him. Is that, is that, I feel like that's why the, the, the Poirier BSD video blew up. Because you guys want to be able to say to Lucas Tracy, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? And I get to do it. You know what I mean? For you guys. For you fucking guys, right? That's what the fuck I'm here for, dude. I'm doing it for you fucking guys. No more glazing videos. No more fucking banana peels, you guys. Ski up. Ski up. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, that'd be me and Lucas, bro. Oscar, bro, thanks for the $2, man. You FaceTime Lucas Tracy every night, twirl, twirling your feet, bro. I'm not... No, dude. No. 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 Bedtime's for the working man? Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly, bro. Who is Paddy Pimblett's best opponent to get into the rankings? Probably that fraud Benoit saint -Denis. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't know, man. I wish... Probably Drew Dober. I think... I think Bobby... I think... Uh, what's his name? I think Paddy Pimblett could beat Bobby Green. I think he could beat Drew Dober. That's a fact. Jim Miller, Bobby Green, or Drew Dober. He could beat all three of them. Exactly, exactly. Why is everyone spamming exactly, exactly right now, dude? Fiziev? Yeah. <laughs> Explaining how Bedtime FC is racist in a Keon Kamori impression. Guys, Bobby Green is losing this fight. That's racist. Two minorities are fighting each other. Oh, fuck. Exactly, exactly. I think Paddy beats... Oh, oh, right hand for Bobby Green. This might be it for Dariush. Dariush might be cooked. I can't do an impression of Manel Cut, bro. Victorian Cejudo cheating on a math test. Listen, man. I, I, listen, man. I, I think we're gonna do. I have to do maths, dude. I think we're gonna have to do mathematics, man. Listen, bro. I think. I think the answer is gonna be a number, dude. If I had to guess, man. I, honestly, man. I think. The, I think the answer is gonna be numbers, dude. I really do, dude. I really do, man. I was not even a fucking question, bro. Are you fucking stupid, bro? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? I rewatched Ronda vs. Holly to feel something. What did you want to feel, bro? Oh! Oh, Bobby Green's dead. I really do, man. Oh my god, Darius just got murked. Oh my god. I really think X equals five, you guys. Seriously, man. Uh, uh, seriously, man. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people don't agree with me, man. Oh my god. Bro, Bobby Green. Can you do an MMA Che or Lucas impression? Thanks for the $2, man. Uh, I could do Lucas a little bit. I've got his mannerisms low-key. But Neil Dariush isn't going to get close to getting knocked out by Bobby Green. Bobby Green has a better chance of becoming the president than he does of beating Benio Dariush. Okay, plotty plotster, Bobby Green, he's going to be flicking out the jab, he's going to be pumping out the jab, and he's going to be missing. He's going to be taunting, and... Benio Dariush is going to take him down and absolutely have his way with him. That's that's a Lucas Tracy video right there about this fight. Nice win for Bobby Green. You got to think he's going to get a big fight in the lightweight division next. He's going to be flicking out the jab, moving his little feet, bobbing his little head. When did you start MMA? I started MMA in uh, 20, like 2020. 2020 bro because i was doing jujitsu before that but then i started like training everything in like mid 2020 after covid type shit you know what i'm saying all right next fight we got khalil roundtree jr versus vulcan uzdemir to start off the main card what a fight what a night so far it will all culminate with john jones versus Derek lewis now, I know that I picked Benil Dariush, and he got knocked out, but this was still a good pick. Because, how was I supposed to predict that Bobby Green would be a better boxer than Benil Dariush, guys? I mean, come on. Uh, come on. How was I supposed to predict that? How was I, how was I supposed to know that? What the fuck? Uzdemir, 
Roundtree. Thoughts on Saudi card? I'm going to talk about all this shit tomorrow, bro. All the Saudi card shit, I'm going to talk about it tomorrow, bro. I got you. No time fans, stand up. Damn, everybody's really standing up right now. Impression of Nate Diaz and young Nick Diaz about to hit a two, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I, I like her. I like her. I'll hit her up. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. Like, you know, where I come from, people like that get hit up. You know what I'm saying? I'll hit her up. Uh, yeah. Uh, who, what the fuck? Where the fuck do they train from? Like, what gym do they fucking train at? We gotta fucking wrestle them or what? No, like, I mean, like, 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 hit them up, like, you know, like, like, we'll go talk to them, like, we're gonna get their numbers, I mean, like, we're not gonna fight them. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, I thought we were gonna fight them. <laughs> Fuck that, I was gonna say, that's some fucking, bah, bah, that's some easy shit. That's up. You fuck with Kendrick? I'm gonna be real, bro, I'm gonna be real about Kendrick right now. Okay, I like Kendrick Lamar. I listen to some Kendrick sometimes, right? Um, but dude... Motherfuckers really act like they love Kendrick Lamar, bro. Like, people really act like they think Kendrick is the GOAT, bro. Oscar, bro, thanks for the $2, man. You question your sexuality when you train jiu-jitsu? No. Um, but yeah, people, le people legit that don't even listen to Kendrick Lamar have been brainwashed, bought, like, NPC coded to be like, uh, uh, yeah, Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper of all time. They can't name you two fucking albums this guy's dropped. And they, they, they have been, they have been bodified. They have been completely fucking brainwashed to act like they think Kendrick's the GOAT. I know Kendrick Lamar's a good rapper. Me personally, though, I don't really listen to him like that. So he's not my GOAT, bro. He's all right. Like, he's good. He's fine, bro. I'll listen to it sometimes. I'm not listening to all that shit, though. Like, I'm not going to get on here and be like, uh, yeah, dude, uh, 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 yeah, guys, uh, uh, Good Kid, Mad City, that's the greatest album ever made. Like, it's a good album. Like, it's a great album, but I have albums and artists that I like way more. You know what I'm saying? All right, who we got? Who we got? Roundtree Uzdemir. <clears throat> but yeah, bro, literally whoever you like listening to is your fa is like, you should be allowed to be like, that's my goat. Or that's who I fuck with. Mario Judah? Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. Mario Judah, that's what we're thinking, bro. It's Pippa Butterflies' his best work. That's not an album you can listen to, like, for enjoyment, though. That's one you gotta sit down and get real deep listening to that shit, though. Like, be fucking real, bro. Like, you can't sit down and- you can't be driving around listening to Pimper Butterfly, bro. Like, that's some shit you gotta sit down, like, put some headphones in, listen to that shit, be like, yeah. Damn, that's deep. Alright, Roundtree. Motherfucker saying Nas is the GOAT when they know two songs. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Same with the- where, where did all these Demetrius Johnson fans come from, by the way? Can I say that? That's part of this shit as well? Dude. Motherfuckers literally are like, um, I got Mighty Mouse as the GOAT. But when he was the champ, they did not buy the pay-per-views. They didn't watch any of his fights. They didn't give a fuck about him. Now that he's not in the UFC, now it's cool to like Demetrius Johnson. Back in the day, not one of you gave a fuck about Mighty Mouse, bro. You got, like, he was fighting everybody. People were like, oh, who gives a fuck? He's just fighting some random bum. Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. Same with this Horiguchi shit, bro. People act like they want to see Horiguchi fight for the belt. I don't give a fuck about seeing Horiguchi fight for the belt. I don't know. I don't, I, Horiguchi, Horiguchi could walk in the room. I'd be like, who, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Like, <laughs> I do not give a fuck, dude. Be real, bro. Be fucking for real. But yeah, dude. It's just funny, bro. People just like, whatever they can find to be a... Uh... By the way, dude. Roundtree in the red shorts kind of goes hard. I'm not going to lie. That kind of goes hard. Like, don't lie, chat. That shit goes hard, bro. MMA guru impression? Um, impression of, uh, impression of Ian Gary watching Yo Romero. I'm not doing that fucking impression, dude. Thanks for $2, dude. I'm not doing that impression. Sit down, shut up. Thanks for the $2. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guru's mannerisms, bro. Listen, guys, I think they're gonna wear cups, man. Seriously, dude. I really do, man. Ooh, that left hand for round three almost landed. Yeah, I ain't doing these bot these Ian Gary impressions, bro. Motherfucker talking about fucking uh whatever. Like, what the fuck is that? Uh yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> fuck that. 
They tell him don't need a cup. Facts, bro. Now, there's nothing that makes you fucking, uh... Like, when you're getting ready for a fight, you feel like badass, and then you have to put your cup on, and you feel like gay as fuck, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like, dead ass, that's the, that's the weirdest shit about putting a cup on, bro. Yeah, I think Max beats Ilya, too. I'm not gonna lie, dude. On go, bro. What are you doing, long weekend? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling, man. And kill Leo Roundtree. Have you met the guy who punched the kangaroo? No, dude. No, nah, man. Sorry, bro. How do you think JDM versus Shavkat plays out? Honestly, unbiased. Uh, JDM by Brutal KO. Oh, my word. Listen, buddy. Oh, my word. You know, when I lost my fucking eye, buddy. Oh, nice movement from Roundtree. I miss the days when you don't have to spam, but I think Ilya. Yeah. Can you sim the Ilya and Max fight? No, bro. Fuck that, bro. I'm gonna play that shit, bro. Whoever chat wants me to play this. Rebecca! Get my fucking good eye. What the fuck? Nice nah, knee to the body from Uzdemir. What's next for Shamil Gaziab? I would like to see him fight Tui Vasa. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Yeah, whenever somebody asks me about Shamil Gaziab, <laughs> glad you asked. What the blob does is he <laughs> What the blob does Did you genuinely think Oh nice knee from from uh, Roundtree You genuinely think Max beats Gechi? I think so bro I think so man I'm picking up Dude I feel like I'm either gonna go 2 for 12 on UFC 300 or I'm gonna get every pick right I've got some crazy picks for that shit What's next for Joe Pfeiffer? I would like to see Oh head kick from Uzumir rocked him Oh Oh nice hook from Roundtree yeah, I would like to see Joe Pfeiffer versus Brad Tavares. That'd be pretty good. Tavares or Robocop. Robocop versus Pfeiffer would be fucking fire. Bedtime, do you fuck with UFC? Bedtime, do you fuck with UFC? That's the question that you want to ask me, dude. Impression of Colby arresting Bilal with a bomb. Okay. Well, well, well. Bilal the racist Muhammad. Remember the plans. Put, the, put it down now, buddy. Before I give you a wedgie. Uh, uh dude, 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 dude yeah, bro, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. Like, bro, 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 bro. Like, that, that's not a fucking bomb, dude. Like, 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 like listen, I, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm bringing a, a care package from Chicago. I'm here to, be, I'm here to uh, do some stocks in New York, right? I'm here to do some stocks and work on my, work on my por portfolio, all right? I don't know what you're talking about. It, it's literally, it's completely false. Like, you, like, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. You must have got all that brain damage from Leon. Like, like I don't know what you're talking about. Remember the planes is great. That's some shit. That's some shit, Colby. I, you know, Colby wants to say that shit, bro. But he doesn't want to get canceled, <sighs> bro. Bedtime. Do you fuck with the Sims? Yeah, Sims goes hard, bro. Cause baddies fucking play the Sims too, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that, that's some facts, bro. Like every crazy bitch I ever met, they low key had me in their in their Sims fucking. Shit, bro. Like, that's facts, bro. What's your pick for Moicano versus Turner? I got Turner via Brutal KO, unfortunately. I like I like Moicano. But I do have... Uh... That's gonna be... Chat. I'm gonna be real. Animal Crossing? Yeah, sometimes baddies be playing Animal Crossing, but not not too much, I feel like. That was kind of like a, 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 a time period. Um, But yo, dude. Dude. Um, What was I gonna say? Moicano Turner is going to be like, um, it's going to be like the Simon versus Talbot for Guru. I have a feeling we're going to, we're going to get a hype. We're going to get a live stream clip of Guru freaking out over Moicano getting KO'd by Turner, bro. I can see that shit right now, bro. Can you not picture that stream clip right now? MMA Guru reacts to Moicano getting KO'd. Oscar, bro, do the walls talk to you? Nah, man. Sorry, man. Nobody talks to me, bro. I have a feeling that's what we're going to get, bro. It's been a good fight, dude. Nice leg kicks from Roundtree. Do any UFC fighters know your channel? Um, One guy told me that Nico Price hates me because I said that he fights like he has autism, um, which I didn't say, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, Jalen Turner did actually comment on my Instagram. So yeah, Jalen Turner, I guess, knows me. Bilal Muhammad shouted me out. One of my like followers on Instagram went to a UFC fight and got Bilal Muhammad to be like, yo, what's up, bedtime? Where you at? Wait, what's up, bedtime? So yeah. Um, 
that happens to be true. I mean, I'm not wrong if I, if I did say that, right? Like, that I'm not wrong, but I don't remember saying that. But Jalen Turner just commented a spider emoji on one of my Instagram posts because I talked about him. He just commented a spider, and I was like, nice, dude. That's hard. Bro thinks he's fucking Cardi, bro. Bro thinks he's fucking Playboy Cardi with that shit. Oh, big meaty hooks from Roundtree. If Mukano gets KO'd, the Guru Curse begins. It's low key already. Nice head kick blocked from Uzdemir. Like, bro, there's nothing wrong with having a touch of that Tism, bro. Like, it's better for fighting. Ooh, Roundtree. Are you going to do commentary for 300? Nah, bro. That's going to be the day after I get back from America is UFC 300. So, I. Uh, all right, chat. I know Guru and Lucas are going to view mog me, but do you guys want me to go live for doing UFC 300? I can. Do you want me to go live during UFC 300? I want to watch the fights. But do you guys want me to go live during that? I will. Oh, nice hook. I might do that because that's like a special occasion. I might do that. No. Okay. Okay. No, nah, this guy said no. All right. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, bro. Just enjoy the card. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. First guy said no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Everybody thank that first guy that said no. Nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Arms out calling out Joe Rogan. Brother, I smashed this bald fucking guy, brother. I eat this bald fucking guy, brother. This little fucking steroids guy, brother. I'm gonna eat this guy, brother. He bald, brother. He big bald guy, brother. I'm gonna eat this guy, brother. He, he hungry guy. I'm, I'm hungry like wolf, brother. I'm gonna eat this guy, brother. Thanks for saying no. All right, man. Ah, oh, fuck that. What are you doing? 50k subs? Shit, boy. I don't know, man. All right, don't say goon time crew in here, bro. We're not promoting gooning, bro. Watch along with the guru and Lucas Tracy. Yeah, dude. What do you... What do you eat while watching the pay-per-views? Uh, usually food, bro. Yeah, man. I, uh... I'll be having lunch. Shit. Oh, nice hook. Oh. Kicks from round trees. Getting brutal. What to do, edge time crew? Thoughts on Gu Cody liking midget goon thirst traps, bro? Kind of based. Kind of based, bro. What's up, count for face reveal? Well, we kind of do that shit for 25k. We're going to be watching my fight for 25k. It's not super high quality. Like, you're not going to see my face too well, but you kind of get the idea what I look like. It'll be probably easier than me jumping on a video like I'm Dream and being like, you know. <laughs> me jumping on a video like I'm fucking Dream and being like, hey guys, this is me. You know what I mean? How do you, far do you think Talbot makes it before losing? I'm not making a fucking face reveal video, bro. That's just cringe, dude. I'm not doing a face cam while watching the fight. Better. Yeah, dude, I do I do agree that people act like they loved Usman the entire time when they all fucking hated him. And were like celebrating when he got KO'd. Me included, I was celebrating when Leon KO'd him. But if I knew that Leon was gonna be fucking ruining the division, I wouldn't have celebrated. I would have been sad. And I like Doosman. Like, I I feel like, yes or no, dude. I feel like by the time that he fought Leon, everyone already kind of liked, um, everyone kind of already liked Usman again. I feel like everyone kind of started to like Usman by the time he was going to fight Leon. I feel, I don't know. I personally liked Usman before the Leon fight. Leon's not ruining it. He is, bro. He's so fucking... Oh, my God, bro. People in the comments of today's video, they're like, uh, Leon got offered three fights. Okay. If Leon Edwards really wanted to fight, right? So, Leon Edwards has no injuries. He could fight at UFC 300, right? Right? Why the fuck has he not called out Bilal Muhammad? Why has he not said, you know what, Bilal, let's fight? Because Bilal will fight him now. Right? Like, bro... Leon will fight, like, Bilal will fight you any fucking time. So, dude. Got offered and accepted Islam. Yeah, but they knew Islam wasn't going to accept that shit, dude. They knew Islam wasn't going to accept that shit. Bro, if Leon was going to fight, if Leon, if they, if they offered him all three of those people, they all turned it down. Why the fuck didn't Leon go, you know what, give me Bilal. Dude, Bilal, Bilal wants to fight me. Let's do Bilal. Can we get Bilal? If Bilal turned him down, all right, Shavkat, you can get a title shot next. Leon is what people make fun of Bilal for. I know, bro. It's so annoying, dude. Leon is literally everything people make fun of Bilal for. Leon's more boring than Bilal. I'm going to say it right now. Leon's more boring than Bilal. He had one good KO. Otherwise, this guy's going to a fucking decision with everybody. 
Dude, he's inactive as fuck. He's boring as fuck. He's inactive as fuck. He's a mumble mouth. He can barely fucking form a sentence. I, I don't understand this shit, dude. He takes time off for no fucking reason. Oh, fuck. Another third round brutal KO. Jesus Christ. Leon has a lower finish rate than Colby. I know, dude. Leon beat Bilal. No, he didn't, bro. If you rewatch that fight, you know that that's bullshit, dude. Bro, died? Literally, he died. Dude, everyone on this card is fucking dying, bro. Holy shit. Bro, literally called out Gilbert Burns, bro. I know, dude. He called out Gilbert Burns, bro. <laughs> oh, my word. Baby boy. <coughs> oh, fuck. That hurt my throat to do that one. Jesus. Fuck, man. Emmett versus Volk book for 305. No, it's not, bro. Leon was beating the brakes off him? No, he wasn't, dude. He landed one good head kick. The rest of the fight was like jabbing and clinching. That's literally facts. That's literally fact. Rewatch that fight, dude. Rewatch that fight, bro. It's on YouTube. Like, literally watch that fight. It's YouTube. Bedtime, what do you smell like? Fuck, man. Volk wants to fight on 305, bruh. I mean, they could low key do Ilya versus Volk at 305. But then Volk's gonna get KO'd in front of the Australian fans. Oh no! Fuck! What's worse? What's what? Chat, what's worse? Volk getting KO'd by Emmett in front of the fucking Australian fans? Or Volk getting KO'd brutally by Ilya in front of the Australian fans? Oh no! Fuck! Oh! I fucking hate. Oh no, dude. This is so fucked, bro. Colby's America's champ? Yeah, bro. Facts. But yeah, dude. Now, Leon, Leon, dude, Emmett, because you probably have a seizure? Oh, God. Don't say that, dude. Emmett, because he's shit. There's 300 people here? No fucking way right now. Really? Oh, my God. Holy shit. What's up, guys? Hey, fellas. How old are you? Oh, my God. 300 people here. That's fucking crazy, dude. Dude, Oscar, bro, I'm behind you. you. I'm in bed, bro. Fuck, man. Colby beat Leon. Facts, dude. I'm the top of guy to get KO'd in, in front of the Australian fans. You know, it is what it is, right? You know, obviously not the result that we wanted, right? Death view botting. Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. Oh, God. I'm under your bed. All right, man. There's 30 people here. Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Obviously not the result that we wanted. Yeah, you know, but... Um, you know, what can you do, right? So, I'll be back, you know? Mark my words, I'm getting my fucking belt back, you know? That, that's a fact. I'm, I'm coming back getting the belt, you know? Mate, I'd rather be fucking fat and happy than fucking miserable and fucking tiny, mate. I don't give a fuck, lad. Mate, I love eating fucking hot dogs and fucking pizzas and fucking burgers, lad. Mate, I can't live without fucking ice cream, lad. I don't care, mate. All right, boys. Who we got? Jared Cannonier or Bot Nickel, the middleweight prospect. When we look at the middleweight rankings, hold on, guys. Before we look at the rankings, we got a tweet about one of our early prelim fights. Tony Ferguson has tweeted calling out bedtime for his next fight. Maybe we'll put that together for the promotion. Tony Ferguson's calling out bedtime for the next fight at welterweight. That'd be a huge fight. And we look now at the middleweight rankings. And you look at the rankings. Jared Cannonier trying to break into the top five. Obviously, Hamza Chumayev's the champion. And Bo Nickel making his way up the top ten again. Let's move on. Who we got, boys? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Don't fight Tony. Hey, listen. I, he's calling me out. I might have to do it. I might have to take out Tony, bro. Yeah, that's racist, bro. You can't ask me to do Steve Owen, bro. Can't ask me to do Steve Owen, bro. That's fucked up, dude. You know, you know what you fucking did. Nah, I just can't do Steve Owen. He's just Aussie as fuck. Crikey. Bedtime, you're going to break into the ranking soon? Hey, if I beat Tony, that's a former champion, bro. That's a former champion, bro. You know what I'm saying, dude? All right, who we got, boys? Jared. Impression of Guru. Yeah, good shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. Good shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you go life and death with Lucas Tracy, then you knock out Blood Diamond. Yeah, good shit, dude. Yeah, bedtime, you're fucking... Uh, yeah, sports dead. Yeah.
Yeah, sports dad, you pale fuck, you pasty fuck! You have no muscle definition, you soy boy pipsqueak! Jared, I bet. Here we go. Why is bedtime feeding himself cans? Ah, I'm gonna take my time. I wanna build myself up nice and slow. You know, I don't wanna rush things, you know? Why is it all white versus black people? So why is that? How do you how do you pick up on that? That's not on purpose, bro. The fuck's wrong with you, dude? Loki, Joe Rogan is responsible for Volk's downfall. Yeah, dude. Fucking Rogan, bro. Yeah, not a single muscle insertion on your body. Yep, yeah, you're a fucking you're a fucking pipsqueak. Are you the reason Steve Ursa gained more followers? Hey, uh, probably. I probably got more messages about the title fight than Urseg did. That's that's real, bro. I had to break my beak. Yo, Chris, bro, thanks for the six months, dude. Love bedtime FC. Keep up the work, bro. Thanks, man. You know, I'm I'm gonna keep it up. You know, I'm gonna keep flying high. You know, it is what it is. We know you eat Vegemite while watching UFC. Vegemite's disgusting, bro. That's literally false. Okay. What did Rogan do? Apparently he was asking for Charles versus Islam too. Which I don't I don't get that. That's like light heavyweight type matchmaking, bro. Like, is there seriously nobody else that could have fought for the belt? Like Charles won one fight. Where he showed no difference from how he always fights. And he gets a title shot? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Call me crazy. I'd rather see Armin or Gaethje fight for the belt. Keep moving your feet, bubba. Do you have a pet kangaroo? No meat. Nice leg kick from Cannoneer. That was a good one. That made a shot out of Bo Nickel. What's next for Sean Strickland? Probably Cannoneer, to be honest. Nice leg kick from Jared. Big right hand. Oh, that rocked. That rocked Bo Nickel bad. He dropped him. He dropped him. Oh, big shots from, from Jared. Rocked him bad. Oh, uppercut from Jared. That might be it. That might be it. Crazy good shots from Jared Cannoneer. Oh, reversal from Bo Nickel. Shit, boy. Crazy good start to the round from Jared, but he gives up his back. Good shots from Bo Nickel. What if Anthony Smith pulled an Aljo against Jones? Dude, he should have, bro. Now he's fighting fucking Vitor Petrino, bro. Charles Oliver is literally you, though. I know, bro. Sorry, man. What's it like having an entire auditorium amount of people watching you live? Remember when there'd be... Yeah, I know. I remember my first stream, there was three people. I remember there was three people here my first... My first stream, man. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's weird. It does not feel... Um... It feels fake that there's that many people here. Like, that's actually crazy, bro. Bo Nickel, good recovery right now after a terrible start to the round. And Herb Dean wants to see some action. <laughs> Herb Dean wants to see a white guy get knocked the fuck out. Uh, uh, some, uh. Are you fat? Nah, bro. You guys gonna see me, bro. Thoughts on Texas? I live in Texas. Uh, I like it. I like it. Nah, Texas is fucking lit, dude. That was like one of my favorite places to visit when I when I went over there. Your picks are casual. I'm the best predictor on YouTube by s statistics, bro. The fuck are you talking about, you little fool? Shut your fucking mouth. I'm AI generated. W, bro. Best way to be, bro. <laughs> Facts, bro. Should start streaming cards. Nah, bro. Fuck that shit. I want to enjoy my fights, bro. I want to enjoy watching fights, dude. Where's the Anthony Smith of YouTube? 78%? Bro, I'm literally him, bro. <laughs> You've never laced up gloves in your life, you little tubby. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sure thing, you little fucking fool. Shoot your mouth. Nice leg kicks. Come to Portland, Oregon. Let's hit the strip clubs. Let's do it, bro. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's go, man. Impression of Ortega in a philosophy 101 community college class. Listen, right? I always think about it like this, right? Okay, listen, man. You know, uh, the eagle lives for 70 years, right? Okay. From Alice Springs, I'll mess you up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop, you fucking farewell. That right hand was beautiful. Holy shit, that beautiful. That right hand was perfect. Watch this right hand. Boom. I know, dude. They got Cody Brundage as a fucking UFC 5 career mode tweet. Bruh. When was the last time a flyweight champ fought in Bedtime FC? Shit, boy. Uh, Pantoja, he's got to fight next Bedtime FC card. So, in a couple of weeks, we're going to see Pantoja versus... Uh, 
Who's he fighting? He's fighting Makayev in Bedtime FC next. He's defended his belt a lot, a lot, bro. Nice right hand. Nice leg kick from Jared. Why don't you put money on them? Because I make money regardless of the pick. That's way smarter than fucking betting on this shit, dude. Lucas Tracy keeps disrespecting your name. He does not, bro. Lucas Tracy's my boy, man. He doesn't disrespect me. What did Lucas say about me, bro? Is this the, is the age of blobs finished in the UFC? Nah, bro. It's just getting started. We're in the age. We're in the era of blobs, bro. Yeah, Loki Pantos is one of the best fighters in Bedtime FC. Bro beat Mighty Mouse. Um, who else did he beat? Royval, Manel Carp. He beat all these fucking guys. Lucas Tracy, he did not call me a wobbly, cobbly pipsqueak. To tie to us, it looks like a Discord mod. He actually does too. With the man bun, that shit was crazy, dude. I can't believe people picked fucking, uh... People picked fucking Tui Vasa, dude. Like, what the fuck? He looks like shit, dude. I'm- Oh! Bo Nickel's down! Lucas Tracy don't want none of this? I know, bro. Stop trying to be like Guru. What? How am I being like Guru, bro? Literally talking about UFC. Bro, you're copying Guru, bro. Dude. Stop being Guru, bro. You made a prediction video, dude. You're not Guru, buddy. It's like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, you little fail. You picked Tui Vasa? I did not, bro. I picked, uh, Taibura, mate. Um, thoughts on these walkout songs for Oliveira? I can't decide. Ultra Beam, Kanye West. That'd be kind of lit. Nah, Father Stretch My Hands would be more, more, uh, Oliveira. Because it's like more religious. I didn't see the Taco Bell pick until after you mentioned it. Yeah, Guru fucks with me, bro. Guru's Guru is a W, man. Did he tap? Nah, he went to tap, but he didn't. He he Brazilian tapped. This is a good fight, dude. Shouldn't you be out with your family? Dude, it's fucking 9.30 in the morning. Where, where, where am I supposed to be with my family on Good Friday? But yeah, after this, I'm gonna talk about my picks, bro. I'm gonna talk about my picks, bro. What was your walkout song? I didn't get a walkout song on my last fight, bro. It was bullshit. But in the back, I was listening to 24 songs by Cardi, bro. I was listening to 24 songs by Cardi, and I was listening to, uh, um, oh, what else was I listening to? I was listening to this a Pink Panthers, kind of stay chill. Oh, nice left hook. Because I just tried to be as chill as possible in the back. I was, like, vibing out. I don't like to get, like, too hyped up before I fight. I like to be really relaxed. Because when I'm relaxed, I, like, see everything, and my defense is on point. Like, I didn't get, I didn't really get punched in the face in my fight. I got kicked a couple times, but... I was- I felt good about my- my defense, bro. Yeah, Guru, bro. Thanks for the five pounds, man. You're legit just trying to be Guru, bro. It's honestly such an L for real. I know, man. Sorry, dude. I know, man. I need to be more like fucking Lucas Tracy, bro. Should I change my thumbnails? Like, white- black and white, bro? But yeah, Guru, appreciate you, man. Thanks for the shout out as well, bro. Appreciate that, dude. Big W, bro. Hey, <laughs> Guru, get out of here, you casual, bro. He's not a casual, dude. Alright, this guy literally fought Ty uh, March and Tybora last week, okay? Show some fuck- Don't boo this man! This man's a fucking warrior! This guy fought Marchin Tybora two weeks ago! Alright. Just got out of a chemistry test, bedtime predictions on how I did- I'm not predicting your fucking test results, buddy. The fuck? Uh, I think you got a 87 out of 100, bro. Mario Rios fan? He better not be. You better not be a fucking Mario Rios fan, bro. Because me and Mario Rios, it's on site, bro. I'm like Khabib and Connor with him when I see Mario Rios, bro. You're like a woman with that little cell phone that you got. You're like a woman with that phone. You fucking feel. Shut your mouth. Bo Nickel getting protected by the script. I know, bro. Why is Josh Parisian in chat? He's not Josh Parisian, bro. Show him some fucking respects, dude. I think there's going to be questions on the test, man. I really do, man. Seriously, guys. Who's going to be the first to call out Menon as a biological male, bro? <laughs> okay, I did not raise my arms and kiss my biceps when the ring announcer was announcing me, dude. I was super chill, bro. I was doing like little Poirier. I was doing like Poirier animations in the corner, bro. I was kind of like, you know, fixing my hair a little bit, kind of wiping the Vaseline into my face a little bit. I was like shadow boxing a little bit. You took a shit on the back of a bus. Somebody stop this bus! Do you remember when Connor said that shit? That was funny as fuck, dude. We're not both handicapped, okay, dude? Is Australia real? Uh, yes, brother. Yes. 
Bedtime, I'm asking how my crush would have the bigs on that. What happened? Uh, show her that you subscribed to me and you're hitting that, bro. Dalton. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smashing new eat. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Nice calf kick drops by nickel. He's shooting for the he's shooting for the legs, the usual shit. Diving for the fucking legs. Opinion on rising prospect, take your top off. Yeah, I think he's a good fighter, dude. I, I, I've seen him. I saw him fight with Marty Lewis back in the day. You know. I probably look like a retired skateboarder. No, nah, man. I'm kind of like, uh, someone said I look like a brown hair, like taller version of Lucas Tracy, which I don't agree with at all. But that's what I got told by someone that saw my fight footage. Marty in his prime, man. Yeah, Marty Lewis in his prime. I mean, nobody could fuck with him, dude. Should I just steal that joke from Lucas Tracy? I feel like I can steal whatever jokes I want at this point. You ain't tall, little bro. I am, dude. I'm literally a fucking towering inferno, bro. I'm literally a towering inferno. Um, you're white. Yeah. See that hook kick? That's a baseball bat, yeah? Bop, bop, bop. Kick like this, yeah? You look like Chase Hooper? I'll take Chase Hooper, but I'm a little bit more muscular, bro. I got, I'm like shredded to the bone, you know what I'm saying? Why is Bone Nickel getting a slower rise up the rankings than Pereira Hamza? Because he's not as good as them. You know? You got Hamza or Whitaker? I got, uh, Whit I got Hamza, bro. But I'm going to drop a video about that tomorrow. Manel Cop, get your ass down here for food right now. Are you playing right now? Yeah, bro. Bro's 5'8". I'm not. I'm 6'4". Oh, Bone Nickel goes down again. Jesus, get fraud checked, buddy. And Bo Nickel gets absolutely fraud checked tonight. Look at this right hand. Oh my god. He's got a chin though. He's got a chin though. I did not extend one leg and go, Hoo-ya! Coworker walked by me and saw me watching Roadhouse on my lunch break today and seen was McGregor Buns. Yeah, bro. You might have to move countries, bro. Bedtime weight bully. I'm not a weight bully, bro. I'm not 5'11 fighting at strawweight, dude. I fought at welterweight, bro. I fought at 170, bro. You're 5'11, stop saying six foot. Nah, I feel like six foot, bro. I feel like I gained an inch from that fight, bro. Pause. That sounded crazy. Nah, I got hums up, bro. Guru was catching heat the other day for hating the Dagestani fighter fan base again. Why? Why? That time you're clean five foot. Nah, absolutely not. Does Canada actually beat Bo? I think he beats Bo. I think he beats Bo. Flukas Glazy doesn't want any of these hands. Champ shit only. Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck's sake, bro. What's your record? I'm 2-2 two and two in Muay Thai, and I'm like 10-3 and three in Jiu Jitsu. So you do the fucking math for me, you fucking fail. All right. Featured fight. What's the scorecard? Yeah, what was the scorecards on that shit? 30-27, 29-28. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, who we got? The math tells me you're a journeyman. The fuck? How am I a journeyman, bro? I literally just started fighting like two years ago. I had some injuries and shit, you know what I'm saying, bro? I haven't fought for like a year. Figgy, I'm seeing a lot of Figueredo. Who we got, boys? Do you fight like Carlos Vera? No, dude. Cheeto? That time got insane love hand. What the fuck's wrong with you, dude? You're a plumber. All right, dude. I'd beat you in jiu-jitsu. I don't think you would. I'd decision the fuck out of you in jiu-jitsu, bro. Bedtime is 410. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Figurado. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Cheeto. I'm not playing as Cheeto. Fuck Cheeto. I'm playing as Figurado. You guys actually think I'm going to play as Cheeto? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not playing as fucking Cheeto. The fucking feel of a team. Bedtime, how do you get a girl? I don't know. If you guys find out, tell me. Tell me, bro. Here we go. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. I'm 22 years old. I do not have negative cantle tilt, bro. It's not over for me, bro. All right, here we go. I'm 0-34 in jiu-jitsu, brother. Hang it up, bro. Just retire, bro. You had a walk-off decision? Yeah, bro. In jiu-jitsu, I get fucking decisions. I have 10 wins, 10 decisions. No joke. Can you predict my love life? No, brother. 
Bent time is a bird chest. That's such a weird thing to say. Nice left hook from Figueredo. You gotta think Cheeto Vera. No way you're younger than Rosas. I'm 22, bro. Bent time's the next Damien Maya. Yeah, bro. Can I have uppies? You can count to 300 if you want. Um, yeah, bro. I'm not 16, bro. Bro's Bilal? Yeah, bro. I'm literally Bilal. 10, 10 wins, 10 by points, bro. Just like when Izzy was 22. <laughs> what? Do you got tats? Nah, bro. I don't have tattoos. What Are we playing fucking guess who right now in the chat? Why are you guys asking me all these fucking questions, dude? 22? Tattoos? How tall are you? What's your waist size? What's What, what shoe size do you wear? This is not a game of fucking guess who. Why they make Cheeto tattoos so dark? I don't know, bro. I'm just silent reading some of this chat, bro. When are you bringing that Mickey Mouse belt home? Don't worry, bro. Soon, bro. Soon, soon, soon. Trust. What is bedtime's astrological sign? I'm a Leo, bro. And I know these things because uh, I had a crazy like astrology girlfriend back in the day. Real ones, bro. You, 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 like you had that chick that was like hella into astrology type shit. Yo, chat, let me put you on some free game real quick. Real, real fucking quick. I'm not going to keep moving on. I'm not going to keep on this, but I got to be real. Um, if a girl asks for your birth time and like place of birth slash date of birth. Run, bro. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there, bro. It's not going to end well, bro. You're cooked, bro. If a girl asks where you were fucking born, what time you were born, bro. You're cooked, bro. You're cooked, bro. You're cooked. Did you crash that boat into the boat, into the bridge in Baltimore? No, bro, that was not me, dude. But yeah, you, you, real ones know the astrology, like, witchcraft type crazy bitches, bro. You know how they get you back, though, bro. You know how they get you back, bro. You know how they get you back, though. Like, they go fucking crazy, you leave, right? But then what, what happens when, when, when you come back, bro? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude. Astrology is witchcraft? Yeah, bro. When they when they come with that shit, there's only one thing that keeps you around, bro. There's only one thing that keeps you around with crazy bitches like that, bro. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. You doing the super genius Cejudo shit for the video? Yeah, dude. That shit was funny as fuck. I think bedtime short, guys. Nah, you're wrong. Go, 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 300, bro. For real. That's how they bring you back, bro. That's how they bring you back every time, bro. Is he in pressure trying to get CKV to jump you? Guys, it's bedtime. He's the guy that made the video made of making fun of me. Get him, blood. Blood, get him. Tyson, take him out. Now. Dan, take out his legs. Is he like snaps his fingers? Does anyone IRL know you do YouTube? Yeah, my, my, like most of my teammates know. And my coach knows and shit. And uh, my ex-girlfriend said she watches my videos still sometimes. So yeah, like people know. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if a girl's into astrology, bro. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there, man. Get out of there, man. Why are you going to US? Just just for a holiday, bro. I just fought. So, you know, I'm chilling. And uh, good luck with your fight against D-Rod. Thanks, man. I'm not fighting D-Rod. I'm not Kelvin Gaslam. Do you let your girl have OnlyFans? Hell no. Hell no. Oh, nice right hand from Figueredo. Oh, from Figueredo, yeah. Cheeto trying to fluke a fucking K. Bro, had lost one round. Now he's trying to fluke the shit. Can you sing Carnival? I'm not a fucking jukebox, bro. Pull up to the Atlantic City car. I'm not... Bro. Okay. That's the weirdest question I've ever seen in my life. And have a good day, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Weird ass little bro. Weird ass little dude. I, I'm not letting weird shit slide in here, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't know who, who's new. If you're new here, you have to be normal in my chat, bro. I'm not letting weird motherfuckers slide in this shit, bro. What was it? Why do you, why do you want to know? The fuck? Just don't ask weird shit. How many happy meals did they pay you for your fight? I didn't even get paid for my fight. It was bullshit, bro. Good luck on your fight against Figueredo. Exactly, exactly. Thanks, thanks, exactly. Nice right hand from Figueredo again. Oh, 
Cheeto's a bit wobbled. Okay, dude. The entire fucking chat now wants to know. You guys are so fucking nosy, bro. What the fuck's wrong with you, bro? I know. I don't want weird. That's the only thing I don't like about like getting more view, bro. I don't want weird motherfuckers in here, bro. I don't want weird like incel fuckers in here, bro. Like dead ass, bro. Am I normal? You, you uh, you're not normal, but you're not weird enough for me to ban you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, dude. On God, bro. If you're like a weird fucker, like, bro, I don't want you here, dude. What did he say? I don't, bro. I've I've already said three times. I'm not saying it. Why the fuck would I repeat it? It was weird as fuck. Move on. Ask me a different question, bro. The fuck? God damn, bro. Piss me the fuck off, man. Chat, this is... Thir you guys are asking 30 fucking questions at a time about the same shit. Your normal voice sounds... Wet. Am I like T-Banks, bro? Are you actually mad? No, bro. Fuck, you guys are just retarded, bro. God damn, bro. Mic peaking? Yeah, I know. I'm seeing my mic go in the red, bro. Roid Rage? It's not Roid Rage. Dude, it's not... It's part of the game attracting cells. It shouldn't be, bro. Because you know what's weird, dude? Um, it's the steroids talking? No, dude. Um, dude. Crash out demon. <laughs> Bedtime's so rude. Fuck you, man. Fuck, dude. Estrogen frustration. It's not estrogen frustration, buddy. Fuck sake, dude. Nah, I, <laughs> I always low-key though, I low-key always wanted my stream to be like, uh, Los Polos TV. If real ones know it, remember Los Polos TV? Where his chat just trolls the fuck out of him. Like, I find those streams funny as fuck, where the streamer like rages at the chat and like re like reacts to funny fucking messages. Um, so I like I like when you guys troll me, but I don't like there's just obviously a, a line that I think is weird as fuck. You know what I'm saying, dude? So bro's not jinxy. I'm low-key, am I low-key not the jinxy of fucking MMA YouTube? I feel like I'm the jinxy of MMA YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Prime Los, I, I want to get back to that Los, like, like Prime Los type days. Queso? Yeah, 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 some Queso type shit. I feel like Guru's the Queso of fucking, uh, Guru's low-key kind of Queso. Guru's Queso, and I'm Jinxy, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the low-key type of shit we on. You're the Dwight Howard of MMA. All right, fuck you, bro. You're the Neon. I'm not the Neon of MMA. Fuck you, dude. But yeah, dude. I miss the new bedtime. Who's sketch then? That's probably Lucas Tracy, Loki. Yep, good shit, dude. Yep, keep asking what he fucking said, dude. Yep, good shit, bro. Impression of harms out calling out Jinxie. But they're gonna smash this guy, bro. They're gonna f I'm gonna smash this fucking guy. This guy, f live streamer, bro. They're gonna kick. I'm gonna smash this fucking guy, brother. Don't give a fuck, brother. This guy played Rainbow Six Siege, brother. I'm gonna eat this guy, brother. In the Rainbow, brother. I missed the old bedtime, bro. I'm not. I haven't changed, bro. I'm low-key one of the realest motherfuckers on YouTube, bro. That's that's a fact, chat. Come on. Come on, dog. I see you son, boy. You got a cock in your mouth. See what I'm talking about, bro? If you're gonna troll me, you gotta be, like, funny, bro. Like, you gotta ask me funny questions, you know what I'm saying? You gotta say funny shit to fuck with me, bro. If you just ask weird shit, like, it's just gonna be like, bro. It's Mario Rios. Excited to see your fight footage? Yeah, dude. Next stream, bro. Next stream, we're gonna talk about that shit. Guru would have told what he said, by the way. I don't care, bro. It's just, it was so weird. It like genuinely made me like uncomfortable that I don't, I'm not reading that shit. It's weird. We're not letting weird shit slide in here, bro. Mario Rios ran away from kickboxing match. Dude, I would love to fight Mario Rios, bro. Oh my God. What I would give to have Mario Rios is signed on a contract to fight me, bro. MMA, bro. I would I would give you a preview of Bilal versus Leon. Prime Bilal versus Prime Leon, I'd give you a preview. I'd decision him so badly, bro. Bruv. How much you been drinking tonight, sir? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Nice takedown from Figueredo. Bit of a stink fest. What did, Mario, what did Mario do? Mario Rio's just been talking shit about me, bro. I've been sent clips of him talking shit about me. He doesn't like me because I called out Leon. Arnold Allen talking about his fight against Giga. Um, yeah, you know, um, fighting uh, Chikadze, you know, um, yeah, be a good fight. Um, you know, he's a good kickboxer. Um, you know, I think I'm a good kickboxer as well. Um, yeah, be a good fight. Um, pretty excited. Yeah, dude. I, I want to get my hands on Mario Rios, bro. 
I can't believe Brian Otega got chinned by fucking Al Joe last week. He just reminded me of that shit, dude. Fuck, bro. Kickbox left lane? Yeah, that'd be another fight that I, you know. Now, nah, left lane apologized for copying my videos. So right now, we're cool. Me and left lane are cool right now. Because he apologized for the copying shit, you know? So we straight, we straight. What's the new Connor voice note? I haven't seen the new Connor voice note. Last one I heard was, uh... Mario Rios, you're next! Cheeto's not fluking his way out of this one? Yeah, I know. Nah, Mario, I promise you Mario Rios ain't doing shit to me, dude. I promise you Mario Rios ain't doing shit to me, bro. How are you a fighter when you've only watched MMA for like two years? Are you fucking retarded, bro? I've been watching uh, UFC since like 2017, bro. But, uh, dude... This fight sucked one better. Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. How tall are you, bro? Oh, okay, I'm six foot. Damn. Bro's trying to make me in UFC 5. Bro needs the fucking, uh... Bro needs all the calculations about me, bro. Mario Rios is not head kick KOing me, bro. On God, Mario Rios couldn't do shit to me. Striking, bro. On God, Mario Rios ain't doing shit to me, bro. 5'11 rage, bro. <laughs> I got a sprained ankle? Damn, that's fucked, dude. Gotta feel bad for Drake Bell. Yeah, dude, I watched that Nickelodeon shit. That shit was crazy, man. Fuck, bro. That shit was cooked, bro. That shit was actually cooked, bro. Like, dude. Yes, Cheeto Vera downfall. That's what we like to see. What weight class? Welterweight, bro. Welterweight. Robbery low key? Yeah, bro. All right, co main event. We've got Ilya Taporia. Versus Max Holloway. I am the heat, brother. Hey, it is what it is, brother. We're going to find out that day night, brother. All right, here we go. Okay, people are sending me Charles Oliveira's baby announcement saying congrats, brother. I'm not... Bedtime, you should fight Rigo? Nah, I'm not going to fight Rigo, bro. Rigo's unhinged, bro. Rigo only would fight me on street beefs. Did he get me too? Yeah, bro. He got fucking... Yeah, that was brutal, man. Blessed, 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 Max. All right, bet. I'm seeing a lot of Max. How are you 5'11 at 125? I'm just a freak of nature. I'm like the Jalen Turner flyweight. Connor confirmed in cocaine bet too. Yo. You're scared of Rios? Yeah, bro. I'm scared of Rigo. Yeah, bro. He's a fucking animal. It is what it is, brother. Hey, I'm going to win the belt back, brother. It is what it is. If Max gets floral shorts, what would your shorts be? Hmm. Shit, bro. I don't know, chat. What, what, what would be my custom shorts, guys? What would I get on my custom shorts? Why are you ducking Roman Delizze? Can I be on your shorts? No, dude. Um, what would, what would be my shorts, guys? Links to your YouTube channel. That's gay as fuck. LGBT shorts. Okay, dude. Fuck you, man. I'm not getting Guru's face on the shorts. LGBT, no. Kangaroo, no. Kevin Lee face. Yeah, maybe. Subs get to pay for a spot on your shorts. That's kind of gay as fuck, dude. You get ZZZ on your shorts. That'd be kind of hard. That'd be kind of hard. Like Z's and like sheep. Like, you know, counting sheep. Go to sleep. ZZZ, that'd be kind of hard. Yeah, that'd be kind of cold. Japanese flag. Okay. Shorts with a picture of your cheeks. All right, man. Yeah, somebody banned that guy. Uh, North Korean flag print. Yep, all right. Speedo, okay. Bro would have Juicy on the back of his shorts. Yeah, I'm going to time you out, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Are you black? Uh, no, sorry, man. Sorry to disappoint you. Would be laughable if you go sleep, bro. No, man. Put them ZZZ because you're getting slipped. Trust. Translucent. I'm not, dude, I'm not wearing transparent shorts, chat. You guys are down fucking bad, bro. You guys are down bad. Tracy Cortez shorts? I need those, bro. God damn. God damn, bro. Chat, you ever just dream up an NPC like bot woman in your dreams? You know what I'm saying? Yo, chat, you know what I'm talking about? Like, sometimes you have a dream, and there's, like, a girl in your dream, but you don't know her in real life, and she's, like, a baddie. And then, like, you wake up, and you're like, damn, bro. 
know what I'm saying? Like you guys, you <laughs> first horny as fuck. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you just you, you like there's like a girl in your dreams and you just go, damn, you wake up, you go, holy fuck, bro. I need that bitch in my life, bro. Yeah, she's just a fucking baddie, bro. And you just never you you've never met this girl in your life. You've never seen her in your fucking life. Like, um You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that shit is crazy, bro. God damn. I'm not talking about a wet dream. I'm just talking about like you have a dream and she's just a character in the fucking dream. And you wake up and you're just like, damn, damn, bro. Because you never meet that bitch in your life, bro. I watched you when you said Curtis beat Sergei. I disagreed. You put a hate comment. Now you're probably my favorite YouTuber. Yo, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, man. I feel like at the, I feel like the longer you watch my videos, like even if you don't agree with my fucking opinions, you low key, like I'm going to make you laugh or some shit. Like you're going to, I feel like I'm a, I'm a decent enough guy that people would like with me, you know? People would like me. Literally, girl of your dreams. I know, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. Like, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. Should I take this girl to the gun range? Bro, you're not Strickland, bro. You are not strong Strickland, little bro. But yeah, that shit, that shit hits hard, bro. I'll be feeling like I'm in a fucking edit when I wake up from that shit, bro. I feel like I'm, uh... I feel like I'm I'm in the bear when I wake up from that shit, bro. I'll be waking up. God fucking damn it! Fuck! And here we go. You ain't me, little bro. Here's the fucking thing, dude. I got maxed by decision? Yeah, bro. Impression of Sean Strickland getting uh, arrested for pistol whipping a woman. Here's the fucking thing, right, dude? She was fucking... She was fucking... Uh, she was fucking asking for it, you guys. I had to fucking defend myself, dude. She's a fucking... She was threatening my fucking life. I will fucking kill you, dude. I've had a seven-month relationship in one dream. That's fucking brutal. That's like some Inception shit to wake up from, dude. God damn, dude. My new favorite MMA channel, Phenomenal Content Dog. Yeah, appreciate that, dude. I did not wear Super Mario-themed shorts in my last fight, dude. Oh, my arm is going dead, bro. Fuck. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. All right. And count to 300 for me, brother. Oh, should I just ban him? Oh, I didn't mean to ban him. I just wanted to time. I just wanted to time out. My fault, my fault, my fault. It's all good. We'll, we'll free him later. We'll free, we'll free bro later. MMA guru waiting room? It's just not true, bro. What did he say? Ah, oh, here we fucking go. What did he say? What would it take to get banned in bedtime chat? No, he just asked me how many times I fucking jack off a day, bro. It's just weird. That's just weird as fuck. Settle down, big dog. What do you mean? All right. Because you called me big dog. I'm all right. Dap you up. Maxi blessed. Moving around well. Ooh, nice calf kick from Ilya. We got sent back to volleyball camp in Bahrain. Yeah, bro. Nice head movement from Max. Getting out of the way. I'm not the Josh Giddy of MMA YouTube, bro. Freaky as fuck question? Yeah, I know, dude. How many times though? That's not a legit question. I feel like Russell Westbrook right now. Next question. Next fucking question. Next question. It's a legit question. Next question. I'm not a thug shaker, dude. You gonna answer the question? Nah, bro. But all right, all right. Since you guys are fucking like asking these crazy fucking unhinged questions, um, I feel like the most that's normal in day is two, bro. Like you can't do more than two. If you do more than two a day, you're cooked. If you do more than two a day, you're fucking cooked, bro. Like dead ass. You need help. Like you know what I'm saying, bro. He's the most overrated NBA player. Probably Devin Booker. Two is already OD. That's what I'm saying. Two is like pushing it. But uh Two isn't addict. That's not even that bad. Nah, two a day is not really that bad, bro. Like that that that's kind of like a that's kind of like a thing of like early and then late. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's pretty fair, right? But motherfuckers talking about 10 is normal. Bro, two isn't bad. Two's not that bad. I was, I was, I was like, why is the chat so gay, dude? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you guys, dude? You guys need fucking help, you guys. But yeah, if you're doing four a day, you're cooked, bro. You need fucking clinical help if you're doing four a day. 
So sus. Yeah, bro. What the fuck, dude? That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Nash, bro. That you thank you, bro. Thank you. You perfectly understand. Two days pretty insane. That's not that's not really insane. 16 is normal. That's wild? That's not wild at all, bro. You need Sean Strick on chaining camp if you're doing four a day. <laughs> dude, if you're doing four a day, seek fucking help, dude. When you have a girl, you have no choice. Yeah, bro. Is seven bad? One for every hour. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Hell nah, bro. All right, this is getting out of fucking hand. Tyson Fury does nine a day. Well, obviously everyone has their PB. You know, everyone has their PR. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has their PR, right? Like everyone has their 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 biggest number that they've ever done, right? But I would say generally, you wanna you wanna make a small small amount in a day. You know what I'm saying. If there's no blood, bruh, hell no. Nah. My PR is four. Fuck that, dude. Four? Have you been injured training or during a fight? Yeah, bruh. Every single training camp, you get injured somehow. Um, zero a day. I was not waffling about fucking wet dreams, bro. I wasn't, dude. PR 12? Nah, that's fucking mental. 12 is crazy. Um, yeah, 12 is crazy. My PR is eight. I had a, I had a, yeah, eight was the, eight was the, eight was the time. PR 315, nah, dude, no. Nah. 10 personal best. Holy fuck. Bro, this chat is tweaking. I know, dude, chat is fucking tweaking, bro. Seven, bro. When did you start training martial arts? Uh, 2019, bro. This guy's bugging, bro. This was like dark ages, bro. This was dark ages, bro. Yeah, you know when you first learn how to do that shit, you just be doing it for no re fucking reason, bro. <laughs> like, bro, nah, 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 this was not like, this was not like, like, cre this was not like, oh, last week I did eight, bro. I'm talking about like, when you first discover type shit, like, you just do it because you're bored. Like, you just sit around, you're just like, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely do, like, be real, be fucking for real, chat. When you first fucking discover that shit, you low key like you do you do have days like that, especially if you you're like not doing anything like you, a Sunday after like a Sunday, bro. You're not you're not doing shit on a Sunday, bro. That's some that's some shit where you have the time to do eight, bro. Like that's a fact, bro. But nowadays, hell no, nah, I could never do that shit. Nowadays, I couldn't fucking do that shit, bro. <laughs> you had to wait for you, bro. Oh my god, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. What is blood waffling about? I don't need to move the. I need to move on with the chat. But somebody asked about this shit, and whole chat was fucking arguing about that shit, bro. So I had to. I had to tell them the, the facts, bro. But anyways, bro. Let's move on. Let's talk about the fights, bro. Shooting blanks, too. Mm. Bro, you just do it just to do it, bro. I'm not a head. That this was not recent, bro. Who's winning? I would say, I don't know, chat. Who you got winning this fight right now? Better time shooting right. All right, bro. Hell, chill, 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 chill. Don't say weird shit. Don't say weird shit. Who's winning, chat? I feel like it's 1 1 right now. I feel like it's 1 1. There's no meta, bro. This is not. This is what the band guy said. He's like the Joker, bro. He won. He turned society into this fucking bullshit, dude. Do you have an addiction? No, I used to when I when I was like younger. Because I just, you know, like when you first discover that shit, I think you don't realize how bad it is for you. But no, I would say no. Um. Oh, God. Imagine your ex is in the stream. Uh, a little too real. You're a bit weird. Bro, you've literally asked me like 20 questions. Like, is it thick? Like, how long is it? What color is it? Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. You don't get to call me weird, dude. You've literally been donating to me for a fucking hour and a half asking me what color is it and shit, dude. The fuck are you talking about? Knife handle is crazy? All right, dude. On guard, bro. And bedtime is shooting the... <laughs> fuck you, dude. Thanks for the membership, bro. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you, man. But what the fuck? Yeah, I think it's 1-1, one, one, Loki. It's 1-1, one, one, Loki. Nice oblique kick from Maxi Blessed. Keep it clean, no blood. Bruh, your coach is watching stream? Oh, God, he fucking might, Loki. Because he does watch my channel now sometimes. 
My coach like came up to me like the other week and was like, guess what I was watching over the weekend? I was like, oh fuck. He was like, why don't you put your name on there, man? All right, hold on. This guy's weird as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. All right, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting everybody up out of here today. You guys just gotta ruin it, man. You just gotta ruin that shit, man. You guys just gotta make shit weird as fuck in here. I'm gonna go for a PR attempt tomorrow. Ah, I did not need to know that. Yeah, we're gonna get these weird motherfuckers out of here, bro. How old are you? I'm 22, bro. What did he say, dude? What did he say, bro? What did he say, dude? Ah, what did he say, dude? Bedtime, that's not even worth banning, bro. Ah, bedtime, bro. F dude, you changed bedtime, bro. Shut the fuck up. Where's down horrendous, bro? The questions that they're fucking asking is crazy, bro. Fuck, dude. LTG impression? What color is it? Uh, here's what I'm gonna do, because you, you want to know what color it is, right? Ask your mom. I'm gonna pull up to our house. I'm gonna open my my trench coat. The subs went to his head. They, bro. It's not me that changed, bro. The chat has fucking changed, dude. Yeah, all the Guru fucking incel fans are here, bro. All right. Maybe Guru gets more viewers because he doesn't ban them all. Dude, his chat literally is so toxic, though. Like, you gotta admit, his chat is annoying as fuck sometimes. Mentally untouchable. Ah, uh, it's okay. I know when people are trolling, but like, you, like, anyone that's genuinely trolling will never ask a retarded question that is, like, weird as fucking creepy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know when weird motherfuckers are here, bro. Dude, like, imagine not saying what the question was, dude. Sorry, I missed a dono, bro. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. My fault, bro. My fault, bro. Yo, King, bro. Thanks for the $2. That's nine bands in a row, bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you, man. Oh, nice shots from Ilya. Listen, man, I think that I think they're gonna wear gloves, dude. I think Ilya and, and Max are uh, fighting at 145, man. I really do, man. It's gonna get worse. You're getting bigger. I know, dude. But nah, I, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna culminate the right type of audience. You know what I'm saying? Like because all the weird motherfuckers are getting banned. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting weird shit slide. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel like eventually people will pick up what the vibe is in here, you know what I'm saying? Because weird motherfuckers will just get kicked out. But yeah, it is weird, bro. And I, look, let me let me be real. Let me be real, bro. Hey, Bedtime, love the content. Find the PowerPoint super funny favorite YouTuber. Yeah, appreciate you, dude. Thanks, man. Um, But yeah, dude. Culminate isn't the right word. So, oh, sorry. Cultivate. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Um, But yeah, dude. Um, I don't know what it is with these, like, fucking incels in the MMA YouTube space, dude. Like, bro, on God, every MMA YouTube I know, every every MMA fan I know in real life is a Chad that fucking trains. Or they're just a normal person that likes the sport. I don't, I've never met one MMA fan in real life that's a fucking virgin weirdo asking crazy fucking questions, bro. Like, I've never met an MMA fan in real life that's a weirdo. And then all of them online, people are like, oh, you just gotta get used to it, bro. That's MMA fans. What? I don't know any MMA fans like this, bro. It's weird as fuck, bro. I don't know how, like, such weirdos can be fans of a, such a Chad sport, bro. I don't know how such incel weird motherfuckers can be fans of, of MMA, bro. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. To, it's weird as fuck to me, bro. Perfect is dude, I gotta smell you, bro. What the fuck are you talking? That's the internet, bro. Mods banned this dude. Nah, it's all good. But yo, dude. Aaron, bro, I appreciate you, dude. I saw your message as well, man. You've been here for ages, bro. Crazy, dude. It's actually weird as fuck, like where it's where the channel's at right now, bro. It's actually crazy to see right now. I I, I like at the end of last year, oh sorry, you know what? I have a screenshot in my phone, dude. I have a screenshot on my phone. This January 1st, 2024, I had 14,000 subscribers. And now we're at 20, like about to be at 24,000 in like less than four months. You're in my Spanish project? Was it actually? Yo, appreciate that, dude. Thanks, dude. Low tier bedtime. What type of drawers does bedtime wear? <sighs> bro. I've been here since like 6K. No, that, bro. Yeah, fuck, dude. That's a long fucking way, bro. You got like 20 versions of MMA fans? Yeah, I know, bro. Yeah, Tapuria does look kind of fucked in this game, dude. Have you been recognized in real life? Nah, bro. I know one day I'm gonna just talk 
and someone's going to be like, yo, your bedtime, bro. I feel like, yo, I feel like most of my fans are in America. I think I might get, someone might recognize my voice in America because I'm going to train when I'm over there. I'm going to train. So low key, I feel like someone might recognize my voice. I don't know. I, that might be El Ego, but bedtime, no bullshit on God. I told my therapist about you've been here since around 7, 8K. Yo, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, man. Loki, I didn't even tell my therapist about being bedtime because I was like, this is going to add too much shit to this. This is going to add too many elements to this shit. She's going to just start fucking talking to me about this shit. Could totally recognize you by your voice. Yeah, dude. I made a, made a presentation about your channel at school. Yo, W, bro. Nice takedown from Max. Been here since Tealess Vids, also an Arab fan. Yo, appreciate you, dude. Thanks, man. I Arab, bruv. I didn't subscribe until a week ago. Damn, dude. What's up, bro? Bro, come to SoCal? Dude, yeah. I haven't been to California, really, bro. Bro's got a therapist? I did. I had one for a little bit because things got pretty bad. But uh, but now, just going to pull up to the streams and hear all that? Yeah, bro. But nah, man. Now, I'm, I'm chill now. I'm chill now. Glazing that chat. My chat's being nice to me, bro. What the fuck? My chat can't even be nice to me, bro. But nah, I don't go anymore. But I went for a little bit. Can you give me a kiss? Yeah, sure, man. I got you, bro. Bro, talked about getting called tied to me, but I was into his therapist, bro. Yeah, man. I was like, they just keep calling me Steve Ersek, bro. All right, be mean to bedtime. Can I be your therapist now, bro? Biggest fighter to Poria can beat Hawes. I reckon he could chin Phil Hawes. I don't know if I recognize you, but if you pulled out an impression, yeah, true, bro. How would you react to getting KO'd? I'd probably put out a pretty funny tweet. Show us the fight video. Stop ignoring me, bedtime. Next stream, I got you. Because I said for 25k, we're going to watch the fight. Buddy. And we're not at 25k, buddy. Yeah, having therapists is a Chad move. I, I, bro, yeah, you needed that shit, bro. You needed that shit. I needed that shit, bro. So, uh, ask my butt. This is not a therapy session. When she asked me a question, I, I spent the whole session just being like, type shit, type shit. I, I was trying to be hella like aura, bro. You know what I'm saying? She was like, how does that make you feel? And I was just like, no, this is what it is, type shit, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Was your therapist hot? Nah, bro. If she was hot, I don't think I would have got anything done. I don't think I would have been productive at all if she was hot. Like, I genuinely was worried she was going to be hot. You know what I'm saying? Because I watched The Sopranos, dude. So when I signed up, I was like, I was like, fuck, what if she's a baddie? Like, what am I, what am I going to do, bro? Like, bro. <laughs> bro. But nah, she was, uh, she wasn't. So I actually got some work done. Bro, I was trying to be opium at the therapy session. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, bro. I'm glad you asked. I was not acting cool and mysterious, bro. Yeah, was, yeah the soprano therapist was a like, baddie. <laughs> she was hot. It's just too big to fit in my pants, man. Fuck, dude, bro is not Cardi. Yeah, I pulled up in a mask. So when did it all start? <laughs> uh, glad you asked. Hey, this is the guy who made fun of me. Kill him by decision, Brad Riddell. Take him out, now! <laughs> Melfi! <laughs> well, you, know, <laughs> you got no idea what it's like to be number one. Fuck, dude. Yeah, real chats just bottle up their feelings and cry alone with a bottle? Yeah, dude. Yeah, but yeah, bro. Bro done gave it a ick, bro. Yeah, I saw the mysterious guy. <laughs> Yo, did you see that guy? That dude was funny as fuck, bro. Holy fuck, man. Chat goes through 10 different... I know, dude. My chat goes from hating me to, like, glazing me. Now they're laughing along with me. But yeah, therapy is important, bro. If you actually got, like, fucked up shit to talk about, you should probably do that shit. Um, but it is expensive. That shit kind of hurt my hurt my soul to pay for that shit. But I had to do it, bro. I had, like, three people tell me to, to do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Average looking man who has therapist, soy boy. Bro, it's really not, like... It's not... It's not what I thought it would be, Loki. I did ask thought it was going to be useful. I thought, uh, sorry, I thought it was going to be useless. Deadass, I was like, bro, I don't even need this shit. Um, but then I went, I was like, oh, damn, I Loki do need that shit. Why'd I have to pay a stranger? Because a stranger is going to be impartial, bro. Because if you have like actual problems, like some of you don't have actual problems, I feel like. Um, but if you have like actual problems, um, like if you talk to somebody that you know, if you talk to somebody that you know, right, they're just going to tell you what you want to hear, right? Like, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. And you're not going to be able to actually listen, like, believe what the fuck they're saying. 
Or you're just gonna get fucking trolled, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just gonna, you're gonna end up, like, delusional. Yeah, they have zero bias. They have zero bias. They have zero bias. So when you, when you have, like, a, when you have, like, a problem, like, a situation happens to you, right? And you go, yo, this happened, this happened, this happened, right? And having someone impartial, like, yo, this shit low-key fucking changed my life, bro. Um, when I told her all this shit that happened to me, she literally just stopped and she was like, it's not your fault. I was like, damn. I was like, shit, bro. Like, like having someone impartial to the situation, like hearing. And I was like, honest. I was like, yeah, I did this and I did this wrong. But then this happened and shit. And having someone impartial be like, yo, you didn't do anything wrong. I was like, damn. All right. Shit, bro. Yeah, it puts it into perspective, bro. <laughs> I read the chat and I started seeing red. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm telling her about my chat, bro. Impartial man, you paid her. Yeah, but she doesn't fucking know me. The fuck? If I told her I killed somebody, she's gonna be like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Max needs to switch stances. Oh, nice body shot from Max. That'll be 200, but oh my god, it's probably afforded with the body shot. Who's the mysterious guy? Oh, I wish I had a picture of him, bro. But yeah, bro. But yeah, you don't you don't need a therapist though. You can talk to your homies though. Like, you can't talk to your homies, bro. But sometimes you need you need an impartial per person. You know what I'm saying? Yo, CC, bro. Thanks for the membership for three months, bro. I appreciate you, dude. Yo, why you missed my $500 donor, bro? I did not miss your $500 donor, bro. I would have ended the stream if you sent me $500, bro. But yeah, bro. Dude, this fight's taking so long. I know, bro. Fuck, man. Couple of decisionators over here, bro. I see how I finished my fight. The first fight. But yeah, talk to your homie, bro. Talk to your homie if you can't afford fucking therapy, bro. You gotta talk to your, your you gotta talk to your, some real homies though. Yeah, you missed it. I did not miss that shit, bro. Stop trying to fucking stop trying to fucking gaslight me, dude. So it only cost five hundred dollars to end the stream. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Two minutes left. Bet I'll be crying in therapy like Sean Strickland and Theo. Vaughn. Yeah, I just go. Ah, oh, fuck, crazy fucking shit, dude. Fucking crazy shit, dude. Talking to your homies is the worst advice I ever heard. Nah, man, you need that late night talk with the homies though. You can't, you can't just, you can't just fucking talk to them randomly. It's gotta like best time to talk to the homies is uh best time to talk to the homies. Fucking did I actually miss a dono? Oh shit, I'm sorry. I didn't actually, I didn't actually see that. I'm sorry. Is that actually a dono? Is that actually a five hundred dollar one? Fuck, dude. But no, nah, um, like driving with the boys, driving with the boys, that's a good time to kind of start talking about shit because, you know, you're going to be there for a while, right? Yes, you missed a $500. Oh, yeah, stop fucking trolling me, bro. I didn't miss a $500 donor. Shut the fuck up. Um, but yeah, bro, talk to the boys while you're driving. Talk to the lads like late at night. If you're like at a party or some shit and it's like kind of, you're at afters, that's a good time to talk to the boys. You know what I'm saying? Um... Like, yeah, bro. Going for a run. Like, when you're running with the boys, that's a good time to talk to them. 20 seconds left. Bro said, or who the fuck said orgy, dude? Hell no, bro. This fight could have saved Volk. I know, bro. They should have done this shit, bro. In all likelihood, Max Holloway is now... Orgy with the boys is crazy, <laughs> bro. Shock, you know. I work so hard for this chat. Are you proud of me now? 3 a.m. Xbox party. See? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. Late night PlayStation party with the boys. That shit that shit is real, bro. Only homie I could talk that took that shit about passed away a couple years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. That shit happens, man. And if you don't have anybody to talk to, bro, you're not gonna fucking You're not gonna like it's gonna catch up to you. Like, you are gonna end up a psycho, bro. You will end up as a psycho. Don't ban me. It's okay, bro. It's okay. It's okay. I won't ban you. Orgy for the boys is based. Yeah, it's kind of based, bro. But yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, like, that shit's, that shit's tough, bro. Damn, man. Can I catch my N-word pass this chat? Bro, come on, man. Just chill. Just leave a sec. But yeah, man. But yeah, bro. People only use your problems against you. Yeah, people that like fake people. You know what I'm saying? You need you need your your brothers. You know what I'm saying? 
or your sisters, I guess, if you're a girl type shit, type shit, whatever. But uh, yeah, man. Let's go, Max. I am the heat, but but yeah, bro. You, you gotta have somebody that you can talk to for real. That's real shit, bro. That's real shit. You gotta have somebody to talk to. Um, it is what it is, brother. Bet I'm getting emotional. Ah, uh, not really, bro. But you know, it is what it is, bro. Like, it's uh, cause we just talking real shit. So I feel like we're just talking real shit right now, bro. Think girls watching here? I know there's, I know Aaron's here. There's one girl here. I don't know if there's any other girls in here, but uh, my mom is go to see. My mom's go to too. I talk to my mom too sometimes. Cool, Lucas. He's crying. Yeah, dude. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta talk that shit. You gotta talk that shit to somebody sometimes. You gotta talk to, you gotta talk to like your mate, or you gotta talk to like a family member. And if you don't have anybody, then you gotta, you gotta go to therapy or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I fought Blood Diamond, bro. I fought Blood Diamond, bro. Once a stream moment where bedtime gets real. It's always the chat. The chat always does that shit, bro. The chat always makes me d talk some real shit, bro. In Ghana oppression. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I never said that. Ever. Jones via spinning iPod. Who should I play as, boys? Uh, but yeah, bro. We could, we could keep being real. We could keep being real, bro. How do we even get I don't fucking know, man. We're just talking that real shit, bro. What's the point anymore? Damn, man. I am the heat, brother. Now we talking that real shit, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying, Loki. That's another thing that I feel like I don't get trolled because everyone, we just talk real shit in here, bro. Lewis, all right, I'll play as Lewis. So we can, we can have the fairy tale Derek Lewis run, win the belt. But yeah, bro, but dude, the thing with main character syndrome, you got to walk the line of like, you can't act like your life is a fucking anime and you're the superhero, but also you got to be the main character of your own life. Like, I feel like sometimes people do the opposite. Yo, uh, res off, bro. Thanks for the $2, man. Appreciate you, bro. Bedtime versus MA Guru. Five rounder loser gets oiled up. Shit, boy. Uru, guru, get that oil ready, boy. But yeah, you got to be the main character of your own life, man. You got to be the main character of your own life, dude. You got to be like, like people who limit themselves or some shit. Like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I don't know how to explain that shit, bro. Oh, people who just make themselves a fucking NPC in life, dude are crazy like people who are like oh no nah, man you're way better than me bro fuck that shit dude fuck that shit bro i don't know how to explain that shit man you like you can literally do whatever the fuck you want but you got to put time in that shit bro you got to put time into that shit like you but but you can't limit yourself and be like oh that guy can do it but i can't do it you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying i'm not talking about like too modest yeah people are too modest you got to have some sort of ego in life though. Yeah, like you like people who go like, "Oh, that guy can do it, but I can't do it." You can literally do the exact same shit, but you got to do the things that they did, right? And obviously you got to have some sort of luck involved as well, good timing, but at the end of the day, you do you do actually have the ability to do all those things. You can't be like, "Oh, that guy is just that guy's just so fucking that guy's just he can do it, but I can't do it." If you don't get that, then it's like, it's hard to explain. But like, if you understand what I'm saying, like you understand what the fuck I'm saying. Nah, but that's just the main character shit, dude. People, people like hate on somebody that's fucking, that dead ass, like is trying to do their own shit, bro. I don't know how to explain that shit. How do you beat laziness? The can't be our syndrome. You just gotta, ugh, bro. There's, I can't explain it. You just gotta do that shit. You just gotta do that shit. It's never that hard, bro. It's never that hard, bro. Every single thing that you go, bro, I can't be, I can't be asked. If you, once you do it, you go, ah, it's not even that bad. Yo, Brian, though, thanks for the $5, man. You should have a therapy stream once a month where we talk about what's troubling us. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Like, we have a stream where we just talk about some real shit. That'd be kind of hard. I, I'd be down to do that with you guys. We could do that. Man, thinky Nike, bro. Yeah, like, I feel like people talk talk down on themselves because they might lack self-worth. Yeah, definitely. But it's like, you're just making it worse. Like, the more that you talk down on yourself, the worse your self-esteem is going to get. Right? But yeah, we're we going we gonna to do that shit. I'm not parasocial. I'm not parasocial, bro. I'm not parasocial. I just mean, like, you guys can just... We can just hop in a stream and we're not... Like, I'm not talking to you guys one-to-one, -one, but, like, we can just talk in the chat, talk some real shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to talk about fucking... uh playing ufc you know what i'm saying we can just talk with some real shit dude 
You know what I'm saying, dude? Um, damn, bro. I've been thinking about committing suicide a lot, bro. Yeah, man. It's fucked, bro. You go through tough, like, tough periods, but you got to just think, like, it's, uh, like, those things only last so long. Like, it, it does get better. Like, I people always say that, but uh, when you have those feelings, you just got to think about you're not actually going to fix shit doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's actually like, yeah, bro. You take care, bro. Take care though, bro. But like, like just, you can't do that shit, man. Cause it, it's just, you know, you, you, people always say permanent solution to a temporary problem. That's literally how it fucking works, bro. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't do that shit, bro. Cause yeah, man, you just, you, you know, you, 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 that's, that's one of the most like, you got to realize the effects on life that that will have besides just you. Like, it'll fix your problems, but you're going to create all these other problems for other people, bro. Getting real and working hard helps a lot. That's facts, bro. That's facts, bro. That's facts, bro. Who's your favorite philosopher? I don't really, like, listen to philosophy like that, bro. I just... I always listen to athletes, bro. Oh! Oh, my God! No fucking shot. Oh, my God! Chat! Chat! <laughs> Derek Lewis, bro. Oh my god. Oh! First punch he threw. Boom! Oh my god. <laughs> bro, Lewis title run. The fairy tale has come true. Oh my god. Yeah, exercise is where it's at, bro. Dude, exercise Nas. Is that real? Like Nas UFC, that guy that fake glove touches on UFC 5? My hero, we're back, boys. Derek fucking Lewis, dude. The Black Beast, he's done it. The CEO of EPO is dead. Praise the Lord. Derek Lewis has done it, bro. He's fucking done it, bro. And new heavyweight champion of the world, Derek Lewis. Oh my God. There goes my hero. Yeah, no, dude, you... But the, I will say this about the Derek Lewis landed literally seven punches. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! God bless. See you with the Wendy's. It's over. Forty six seconds KO. It is over. Derek Lewis. Real talk stream should be on Discord. Yeah, we might do that. But Loki probably just next stream. We'll probably just talk some real shit, bro. Damn, bro. No post-fight speech. My balls was hot. I had to knock him out quick. I had to take a duke. Give my money. <laughs> bro. Good way to end the stream. I know, bro. There we go, boys. Problem solves, boys. Problem solves, boys. John Jones would have to slip on a banana peel to lose the plotty plotster heavyweight NPC for Lucas Glazy. All right. Was Jones undefeated in bedtime? Yeah, bro. He was undefeated. He beat Nganu. He beat Gan again in the rematch. And tonight, the upset of the history, upset, the biggest upset in Bedtime FC history, Derek Lewis has won the heavyweight title. We will have to see what's next for Jones. Maybe he retires. Maybe he comes back for a rematch. What a night. What a card. Um, yo, appreciate you guys, dude. Jones may get a rematch, but we, um, so guys, guys, guys. No bedtime FCs for the next two weeks. I'm going to be in the States, bro. I'm going to still be doing videos and shit. Uh, I'm going to still be doing videos and shit. But um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do the bedtime FC streams. I'll try and do some live streams while I'm over there. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm going to be doing a lot of training over there. I'm going to be doing some sightseeing. You guys will check my Instagram at bedtime MMA. Um, I'll post some like cool, you know, stories. I'll be doing some training and shit. But yeah, man. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for coming to the stream. Appreciate all the donors, man. You guys went fucking crazy today, bro. 300 people in here, bro. We're going fucking mainstream, dude. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Look after yourself, guys. Everybody that was uh, t joining in, talking about the real shit. 
I love you, bro. Take care of yourself, man. Uh, but yeah, man. I'll see you guys next stream, next video. I'm going to drop a Hamza Whitaker video tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, see you guys.